Well, well, well. Look where we are now. Stand. I can have a picture with Jamie. I don't know if I'm allowed to pick it up. Or not. No, maybe not. We're here at Wagamama's. But you're probably thinking, why are we in Gatwick? Why are we in Gatwick, Steph? Well, let's catch a plane. Where are we going to? We are off to Italy. Yes, we are for a week trip. We are like going around the world showcase right now, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Because like we went to Japan, now we're going to Italy, and we've been France. Yeah. I think this should be a thing. To Norway, we can go to China, go we can to go to Mexico, and then back to America. Yeah, America and, Adventure. and Germany as well. Oh yeah, Germany. We could, we could go to the Christmas markets in Germany. Maybe. There we go. There we go. So The possibilities are endless. Yes, guys. the main reason why we're doing this trip is because our friend is getting married out in Tuscany. So we are heading down to Pisa today to get a flight uh, with uh, EasyJet and we are staying in Pisa for one night. They're heading down to the resort that they have booked for their wedding. So we probably won't be recording much of that. We're probably going to be recording the trip afterwards because we're going to go to Florence. And, and David's very excited for Florence. I've been doing a lot of research <laughs> and lots of YouTube videos. Because we are staying there, we have an Airbnb as well, so we've got that all sorted. And we're going to be going around Florence, we're going to be checking out all these places. We are super excited, including this lady. This one's excited as well. We're going somewhere new this year. We've been to Japan, like we said, and now we're going here, which is even better. And I'm very excited. Yes. Just a small glass, eh? Just a small. Just a nothing, small. Nothing to not, not too much, not too much, you know, don't want to waste it all. I don't want to waste it, a good, a good vintage. They've asked for a, a large still water, <laughs> I've got a large still water. I've got a large still water. <laughs> and I've got a cheeky Prosecco. <laughs> Cheers. We nearly missed this flight. <laughs> <laughs> Last people to get on this plane. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. They're doing some things underneath people. Oh. <laughs> oh. Got off the plane, getting down. Oh, is it so warm? Isn't it? It's quite humid oh. down here. I like it. Oh. Welcome to Pisa, Steph. I've never been here. Have you? No, I've not. Thank it's you. First plane. time. Thank you, plane. So we just got out of the airport, and it's very beautiful around here, isn't it? And we were just about to grab a taxi, and then the taxi driver just was like, oh, "Where are you going?" The car park. Okay. He just said, "We need to." Where are you going? We showed him where we were going. He went, you can walk it easy. That's the first time I've ever been in a taxi driver, and he's actually said, just walk. And he's just showed us the directions. It. So, such a nice guy. Oh. So, time has gone by. We are just chilling out in the room. We noticed that around this area that a lot of places weren't really open. Um, not a lot of like my supermarkets, convenience stores, and so Steph did a little bit of digging, and she found a gelato place that was open until midnight just down the road from us, and we may have found like a, a gem, <laughs> something that's amazing. And we found this. We thought it was like a sharer's bowl. It was like four euros, and we thought you could just put as much as possible. And then, oh no, oh no no no, we found this beauty. Now I do apologise to anyone who's thinking. So it's a little bit messy, but it's a bun. It has three different flavors of ice cream. We've got Nutella, pistachio just back there, and then hazelnut. It is amazing. It's kind of similar to like a panettone sort of bread. 
a brioche panettone type of bread and it's it's amazing and we're gonna eat this all up yeah so we are here at Pisa station we have our tickets to go to Signa and it's actually very easy it's super easy to use the machine of course they have English options of course obviously but it was easy to use and it was actually very cheap it cost us 14 euros for one way so seven euros each I've got a bit of sun cream on me still. You've got a lot of <laughs> a bit early, we're about like 15 minutes early, but we always ride rather be here early yeah. than after yesterday's fiasco. <laughs> after we nearly missed the plane. No, 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 no. We we do a good time we we do a good we do a good thing by getting to the location on time with plenty of time. However, actually catching the particular transportation, like the train, which which you didn't see. Yeah. So we don't want to miss this train, it's very important. We need to get there before 12 o'clock yeah. and it's just over an hour, just under an hour, sorry, it's about 50 minutes this yeah. train is, which is good. So. We are here for the next few days, so we thought we'd kind of show you what we're up, what we get up to. Yes, we are very new to this. We are. So all of this is going to be completely new. There's no fast passes, there's no queues, there's no characters. It's just new things, which is good. And very hot weather. Yes. And very busy roads. So we're going to show you some of the things that we're going to be getting up to, and we hope you guys enjoy. Dumbling across this huge courtyard and. I think it's a church. Well, Steph thinks it's a church. We tried to look at what it is. Yeah, it looks pretty amazing though. So the church is called uh, Piazza Santa Croce. Croce, Croce, yeah, it depends on how you pronounce it in Italian. And apparently Michelangelo is buried here. We're, uh, as well as other illustrious Italians. Like, there's loads of others on there. I don't know the names, I do apologize, but obviously Michelangelo stands out. Yeah. So yeah, and there's like 16 chapels in there as well. 16 chapels in all under one roof. Isn't it? The most notable feature of the Blistica are the 16 chapels, many of them decorated with, um, I can't decorate with other people when it's pupils. So, Ooh. and the illustrious Italian, which is pretty awesome. Wow. This is Michelangelo's tomb. The man himself who carved the statue or sculpture of David. And they look like they're doing some restoration with either the frame or the art just there, because that's where the art goes there and the frame is literally just there. So we're just reading the 
called Asusudas Palavas, and there's three sculptures, and they're meant to be represented of that one is painting, sculpture, and then this one is architect. And the top one here is his bust of him. Pretty incredible. There's like so much stories about Michelangelo, which is pretty amazing. And I definitely recommend to come visit it. see these around in certain places but these are markers of floods of how far the water went up and there's two more right up there so this one is 1844 which is a bit bigger than Steph I'm five foot seven. seven so that's quite high but yeah that's quite crazy how high it goes up the floods I have to say though this place is very beautiful we were just talking before just the history of this place and it's so peaceful to walk around here as well Well, that was absolutely stunning. Did you enjoy that? Lovely. It was very good. It was eight euros per adult. I didn't um, realize how much of it was. Like. Yeah. Well, Wikipedia didn't lie. It said 16 chapels, and there was crazy. definitely 16 chapels in there. That was quite intense. That was pretty amazing. But yeah, it's eight euros per person. Yeah, if you are coming into any of these sort of like museums or places with chapels, be prepared. They may ask you to cover your arms. Yeah, you got to cover your arms. Legs. And your legs. So. so Make sure that you've got like a shirt, like what I did, yeah. to cover yourself up. No, you have like items to cover your legs. It's like a euro each, yeah. so just like to keep you an eye on it if you come here. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's like a venue's happening over here. Look at it. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Are we going in? Yeah. Yeah, we're going in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big David. Little David. This is my time to shine. <laughs> now I'm hungry. <laughs> we are in the place that looks a little bit like Borough Market. Yeah, definitely. It reminds me just like Borough Market. Oh, my life. Oh, my life, look. There's your Florentine steak, Dave. How about that for a cooking school? Um, you can you can actually like book in and learn how to cook. It's so cool, and you get little chef whites and everything. So we're just sitting in a restaurant and we're trying out some steak, aren't we, Steph? It's not just any steak. We're trying Florentine steak. Mm. This looks amazing. Oh, Got some salad and some potatoes. And as we're here in Florence, we have to try, like we said. A bon appetit. Bon appetit. So we just plated mine all up. Potatoes, salad, the steak, looking good. Enjoy, babe. Can I see your reaction? Florentine steak is like a tomato. No, it's a tomato. It's like a T-bone. T-bone. T-bone steak. You good? Yeah. Very good. She's happy. Who would have thought Tim had his own mobile store? Kept that quiet. Yeah. Looking at all the big shops around here and look what it is. It's a Disney store. Should we go inside? I think so. I think so. I agree. Then you got a Baymax bag. It's, it's a I like um, Moana. Moana. You got Avengers. 
You got mini, very cute. I love that. You love it. It's 50% off. It's, it's 11, 11 euros. euros. That's not bad, is it? That is adorable. That is so cute. 24 euros. That's not a bad one. They've also got all the Marvel stuff here as well with hats and then villain outfits. Yeah, the villains are really good, aren't they? Be very afraid. But lots of mugs. Of course, you got a Simba mug, Darkwing Duck. You've got Tailspin. We've got Chippendale Rescue Rangers there. That's cool. And they've got all these other ones all on sale, 50% off. And they're really good. My way or the runway. And they've got this amazing jumper, which has like these amazing cuffs on the side. And it's. <laughs> it's Edna Mode. It's Edna Mode's clothing line. <laughs> and guest. I love the fact that the mode is... Nine euros! Nine euros? <laughs> Nine euros! That's a bargain, isn't it? I really like that! What museum are we in now? We're in a museum! Galileo! 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 I don't think that got there. It must be you. It was working for me fine. It must be you. You're meant to race these two balls and apparently this one goes in quicker. And I did it before, I recorded it before. You come along, it doesn't work. Hey. <laughs> Place the ball at starting point A, um, then release the ball. The ball covers increasingly longer distance in equal time intervals. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Oh, oh I lost the ball. Hey, let me bring this over. Oh! Hi! Right, the ball's in. What did we learn? Science. Push, brush your fingers across the... Trust in me, trust in me. The Point Vecchio Bridge. I do pronounce it if I say it wrong, but this is the bridge that they replicated at Tokyo Disney Sea. Yeah. Which we went to obviously with Tim and Jen. Indeed. So. And we were like, no way, that is not that. And then we found out it is that. Yeah. And Tokyo Disney Sea replicated. Is it? It's pretty awesome. It's like like that. Like, like it a lot. lot. See the Beatles saw a movie being done here. A lot of the green cars on the side. Alfa Romeo's there as well. Someone said for a TV show. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's like a TV show. I don't know. Car show. But like they're doing a chase thing where everything's pretty beaten up. So there's loads of Alfa Romeo who's been beaten up. So like the progression of like from being, from being normal to being destroyed, and I think that's probably the end of the game. Yeah. It's got a bullet mark as well, which is strange. Yeah. Strange car show. They got this pretty awesome, I think it's a Mercedes stunt car, and it's got like the actual pivot and the camera right at the end. So when it's... Stabilised arm. Is it stabilised arm? It's a good stabilised arm. So when... High speed chase. Yeah, so then the camera is like following it, and like it's at the same speed, which is pretty awesome. So we just found out this movie is for Six Underground, which is... The movie that's coming on a streaming service. That's got Ryan Reynolds in it. Yeah, and David Franco, which is, uh, I can't remember the other Franco's brother. 
Um, but yeah, we just saw some costumes in some of the cars. We're literally backstage. I know, we're like, what's yeah. going on? I suppose we haven't been told off yet for filming yet. We're backstage at a set. There's another car there with a rig. How awesome is that? Yeah, that's awesome. So we're heading to Pizziale Michelangelo. We're going to go see the view of Florence. And while we're here, we're literally backstage. All down here is that all the crew. We were walking down the street and then someone went on the other path and was like, Okay. Maybe Maybe he's around. Maybe And now there's a car coming. So we're about to go through this door and all the way up to Piaz Piazlo Michelangelo. And who would have thought we had to go through backstage, get some hair and makeup done, a bit of costuming? Did you get hair and makeup done? Yeah. I didn't get that. Did Me. Maybe they thought I was Ryan Reynolds, maybe, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> this is a steep hill. <laughs> I thought we already had exercise with our stairs in our apartment. We got it. We got it. It's okay. We should be fine. But I thought this was not the this was not gonna be the worst of it. It's still going. Look at that. It may not look steep to you, but for us it's very steep. It's still going on. We're nearly there. Oh my goodness. Walking up the thousands of steps. We eventually made it. That was so tiring. The views it's worth it. are beautiful. So let's show you. We'll get a better view and we can show you it in its full glory. Don't know if you can hear that. It's probably gonna finish now. Yeah. Yeah, it's finished. But there was like like sort of like explosion sounds and gunshots going on. It's the movie set that's happening down there. People were like, why, why is he doing this? And then realized. Oh, there's noise coming out. Yeah. But I kind of realized it actually. There you go, there's there's the noise. <laughs> there's the noise. <laughs> How cute! We should see someone's just got married. <laughs> we're getting pictures at the top here. Yeah, we're Perfect. And this view is stunning, isn't it? So good. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> ah! Ah! Let's stop it. There you go. Oh, this really hurt for your killing. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> this hill. But the view is worth it. So as we're here on the top with this beautiful view, there is an actual, another replica of Michelangelo's David. And this one's a bronze one. I think that they put it here because it's obviously it's named after Michelangelo. And this is one of Michelangelo's greatest pieces. So, which is David. Which is David. Which is you. Yeah. I asked him to, you know, just to tuck the tummy in, you know, give me a bit of a six pack and that's what he gave me. Look at the mountains are just kind of like right at the edge. So amazing. So beautiful. Okay, right. We're trying to go down these stairs, but we seem to be going down the momentum, but very fast. Too quick. Too quick. So Too quick. right down. At least we're not going down this bit. <laughs> How do we stop? Oh ah. God, stop. How do we stop? How do we stop? <laughs> It needs to be a crash mat at the bottom, but facing up so we walk into it. So this was the street that they were recording when we saw it before, and then all the green cars on the right-hand side. How many Alfa? How many Alfa Romeos? Give a try at this place. I've been re researching on YouTube vigorously, haven't I? Puschetteria. Puschetteria? Puschetteria or Puschetteria? I don't know. You could say pronounce the E R and the I A's. But yeah. And it's like the Italian way of the subway. Yeah. 
This looks really good. Yes. So we just got back to the apartment. Um, and we're just eating these sandwiches. These are so, so good. I, I could easily live with this for a very long time. Are you enjoying it? She's liking it. Wiping the sweat off Joe Brown. Because stairs is a killer. We we'll show you them. Yeah, we will show you them. Because we're going to go eat this. We're just going to have a little bit of a rest. Catch our breath. I'm going to get some ice cream. Oh. There's one guy, there's a place just down the road. There was one actually on our road that we we're actually staying at. Right next but door. Yeah, but for some reason it's closed today. So I think it's because it's Monday. They don't open, I'm not sure. But we're going to go to another one that's just down the road. It's open till midnight. Just like the place that we were at, Pisa, for, you know, for the timing. So I'm going to enjoy this and we'll see you in a minute.